Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Man United career mode. As you can see in the Premier League team, we're sitting in full position with five games played, three wins, one draw and one loss sitting on 10 points. Going off from the last episode now, though, we also finished off with a highlight game in the Europa League right there, getting the final win against last. On the 16th though, of September, we had a bit of a shock against Brighton, picking up our first loss of the season. Just reaped in turn up, wasn't at our best. However, though, on the third, the first game, of last episode we did get a big win at the emirates against arsenal 2-0 which leads into this episode now ladies and gentlemen to kick off as you can see with the games today we have got the premier league game against burnley then we got the highlight game the Cabrera game against aston villa and then we finish on crystal palace at home which we should hopefully today be nice to pick up three games and three wins now going off some of the comments from the last episode we'll have a look at luke shaw first a lot of people suggested to actually convert him into a centre-back and to be fair it makes sense because it only takes him two weeks and I do believe it goes up to an 83 so if we want to convert him back we pretty much got a free upgrade to go to an 83 which is very nice indeed a lot of people did say as well that there's nobody really back up for Jeremy Fringpong and potentially bring back a lonely spell but if we go to the right backs here ladies and gentlemen we cannot really if I just quickly scroll right down to the bottom of the thing here We've only got this guy here, uh, Habib, so he's not the best, he's not the best indeed, so it's a bit annoying, I'll quickly show you as well that Dalat has been converted into a left back as well, to confirm it right there, and so we're lots, we got Dalat, I mean to be fair we could bring back Brandon Williams, I'll probably leave this one for the next episode to see what the comments are saying about this guy, we've also got this Alva Fernandez, so we could potentially bring one of these back and maybe convert him into a right back, so We'll have to wait and see on that. And Brandon Williams had a decent season at Ipswich Town. Very nice indeed. We also as well had some suggestion of comments here in terms of people who we potentially could sign. Let's go right down here. We've got Zerky here who actually made an idol link with real life here from Belogany right here. Decent striker indeed. Really getting to the spotlight of football at the moment of this Dutch striker. Could be a decent replacement by the moment. I mean, Hosland, as we've been seeing from this episode, he's probably been our best player. Now, this guy I will not mind bringing back. Absolute brick shit house for Leicester City career mode on my channel. Absolute master that here. Absolute unit. will not mind bringing him in back indeed. And there's the backup in Aaron Hickey here. And this real raise here, obviously they haven't got the Mexican league here. I'm just thinking, I did have a look at the free agents as well for the fullback options. This guy, I mean, he doesn't seem like he's got bad pace as well. I mean, the dribbling's not the best, I mean, but it is getting there. So he might be decent overall. But I'm going to wait until a couple of days to reveal his overall. And you never know, maybe I could convert him to a right back and we bring in this guy right here on a free. As also, of course, the transfer deadline day is over. But let's get right into the Burnley away game right here. Let's have a look at the lineups and see what we want to do. Obviously, Garnacho is still injured, which is a big shock indeed. But Pedro and Neto has been in tremendous form, so that's worth going in. And Nevis has been okay, but I think he still needs to kind of work his way into the team. So I think we're just going to put Neto on this side here. Yeah, I think so. Elise as well, he needs to be converted to a right wing. I think, to be fair, that may be done, so I might be able to convert it after this game. I think I'm going to start Wharton. I think I've, I want to try and get him a little bit higher as well. Same with Martinez. I think he's very due to be going up to the CDM position change as well. The rest of the team, though, I think I'm going to stay the same. I think, to be fair, he's been playing decent. And I think, to be fair, at Burnley, we should be getting the win here against Vincent Company's team. Let's see what we can do. So here we have it then. Man United versus Burnley. Should be getting the win here. Should be getting the win. Have they got Victor Rogue I've just seen up top there? What a sign that is there. How have they pulled off? I don't know. Barcelona have let go of one of their mega stars in the Brazilian, I do believe, in Victor Rogue. Incredible sign from Vincent Company, who actually is now the Bayern Munich manager, which, to be fair, fair play on good pass from Wharton, though, to Florian Wurtz. The man that can get this gate ticking. Florian Wurtz goes out wide. It's Jeremy Fringpong. We all know he can shoot. Jeremy Fringpong all the way, perhaps. We can't do it. Unlucky. Still alive here, though. Release. Pass it wide there to Neto. Neto sets one up for a power shot. Oh, it's an unbelievable strike. Wow. It's an unbelievable strike. Caught him Frank Lampard against Germany. But what a finish that is there. Off the ball. Where's the VAR to check it there? Is that goal of the season for Man United? Keeper's got to do better there, but the power gets the best. Where's the VAR there with the lines? Did it actually go over the line? Controversial, you could say the least. The goalkeeper, to be fair, I don't think he's just going to save that. But what a strike from Pedro Neto. That's why we brought him in from Wolves. 1-0 to Man United. Thanks to the quick of a strike. To a player not in his natural position, covering over for Granacho. 
who someone did suggest as well. We just need backups, to be fair. Maybe we went a little bit too heavy in terms of just bringing in new signings. Oh, Dada, what is that? What is that there? We wanted the LBY just to think over with the Pedro Neto. But yeah, maybe we just went a little bit too hard. A little bit. But it is what it is on the signings. Just want to clarify as well, I did change the Butcher Martinez into the captain as well before going. It was on Tadebo, but I changed it to uh, Martinez. I'll make it official on the actual menu screen of the career mode after. Must be forgetting to do it. I'm sure I apologise there. Walton on the ball hit. Good switch up for big gentleman and T. Jeremy Fringpong cuts inside to Elite there. Looking for a bit of a 1 2 action. Great play this from Man United, but who oh boy couldn't get in front. Oh! And they nearly snuck in. Great play, though. Great play from Man United. Lovely little, like, kind of triangle action there. And won't get in front of it. Can't. Unlucky. But the Martinez does. Well done. We expect a, a dominant game from Man United here. Neto. It's a lovely little play this once again. Uh, we should have waited there. That old man's up there. Got a bit uh, trigger happy there in terms of just trying to play it quite quick. Bettina here, number 22, cuts it inside, running inside. Good switch out to the left there to Bard. Bard goes down the line into Brown here. We get it there, we can't. Oh, twisting and turning, I respect it. Get the rogue, should be getting that to Debo. Oh, it's done well there. We got a wave it. Got a wave it there, that could have uh, ended badly, really. At least they try and do some skill. Well, I'll try and do some skill, but not the best. Kind of stitch up Hoyland there a little bit. That should be ours. It's getting there. Oh, that's a probably a yellow card there for Dede Bill. That's the second time he's challenged him. But the ref has let him off of a warning. Surprise is not a yellow because he was going through. Or it might be. He's called for him to come short. Haven't seen this animation and it will be a yellow card. Jin Clark, Dede Bill there with a yellow card. Yeah, yeah, he took him out. Yeah, there's, there's no question here. Let's be honest. Let's be realistic. He took him out. But he has kind of stopped the play, but he's left Bernie in a very dangerous position right here. Can he go for it? Oh, he's gone for a bit of a... It's a good shot from Brownhill, and Costa's got to make the save. Quite comfortable in the end. But we're exaggerated to dive. From Paul, that wasn't the best pass. I actually wanted down the line, but he's got to go for the overlapping run. That's why we signed Jerry Fringpong for them overlapping runs. Now we could get something here. One more into Pedro Neto! And we have to shoot that early there, because I feel like number 22 would have gone in front. A goal before halftime would have been fantastic. Pedro now looking for his second goal there. Just get a bit of a pot shot. Good save from the number 49 goalkeeper. What's him to go outside there? Florian Verts, can he do something with this? Swings it into the box. Go for a bit of a dream one there. Great voice there. And it hits the top of the net and the top left-hand corner. Like I said, a second goal before the break. Probably would have killed the game into the second half. What a ball there from Florian Verts. The Braveway just couldn't get it in the back of the net. Could have been a second goal from Man United, but it was unlucky. But Pedro now with a quarter of a strike. Makes it 1-0 for Man United going into the second half. See you show. I've decided to make no changes. I don't think I really need to. No one's really played quite poorly this game. I'll see the one we probably do in a minute would be Tadebo because I'll see that yellow card. So maybe we actually give Luke Shaw a run for his money in that position. At least he's got a bit of room. Oh, that's a dirty foul on Elise. I don't know what that was all about. Also, we're going to try and cut inside and try and bang it top left-hand corner. But well, we got stopped. Was all there. That should be a. I'm gonna say a red card. That should be a red card. Not the best there. Mason Mount for Neto. I think I'll do that. I mean, I did say the first up could be the centre back, but the stamina's not looking the best. And Mount's been good in pre season. This is a really good angle. And actually, Mason Mount's got some decent free kick stats. So maybe we could do something here. We could try and go for that one. It's quite high school free kicks in this game. It's curling, but it's just too weak. I really want. EA or whoever takes over this game next to go back to the old ways of free kicks. It was so much better. None of that stupid circle stuff. I mean, it's just stupid. Never works. That's not really poor, but it could be a good chance of water here. Try to go for the first time. Bounce volley. You never know. We're going to play his locker there. One from Mount Martinez and Elise tried to cut that left hand side. Gets away with it. Somehow gets the shot off, which is a bit strange. But oh, it leads it to that. Which was all there into Bard. Bard trying to cut inside, but Martinez is there again, just lingering in that midfield. It's been brilliant, to be fair, since he's got in that position. Victor Rogue, their best player, without a shadow of a doubt. 
Bard. It's a good ball. That's how they got through there. I don't know. Tadipo does well. Didn't dive in Brashley as well. Good pass as well. Elise, good skill. Little fake out there. Back to Elise. Well done there from them three. Elise trying to cut inside. Does well. Just trying to get the pass off there. But Sajid Burge denies him the opportunity. Just cutting a little bit more to get the pass back into the middle. Still only 1 0 though. We want another goal really because it's a bit tight. Playing a bit of safe ball, uh, Southgate football, sorry. Being a bit boring, pass at the back. Really, kind of like he's doing in the Euros, which he's got to be careful. Got very lucky the other day with England with Jude Burnham. Super Juice steps up once again. And Harry Kane, an extra time. Jeremy Fringpong here. Just going to pull that back there to Hoiberg. Warren's on the side of the box. Warren can go for the shot here. Good shot there from Warren, but a good save from the goalkeeper. Tino. We try and take him down in Mount. No, he's not going to do it. Good chance there as well. Just got to get that second goal. Got to get the cushion, really, because they will get something out of it, I feel like. You know all these lower kind of underperforming teams are like. No disrespect there to Burnley. I mean, very strange. The 31 here. One from Jeremy Fringpong again. Has had a decent game, Fringpong. At least eight. Cuts inside. Does well. A lot better. That's what we got at least eight for stuff like that. Drawing where it does see Frimpong there. Frimpong. Trying to do something how. Just trying to pull it back there. He's a pass. And Barge, to be fair, does well. Was it, I must have made that was my bad. I was going to try and cross it, but I didn't want to keep crossing it. I actually, to be fair, we shouldn't really be playing Burnley any because they got Renegade. I did change it with Ipswich and Southampton coming back up, but for some reason it hasn't saved it. So we're just going to go for what it is now. They got lucky. Elise is there. Can't get it to him though. Oh, but we have got it alive though with Elise. Good chance. They got someone against Elise here. And that's going to be it. I'm guessing that would have been a free kick there. That's hence why the ref has kind of maybe blown his whistle. But we'll take it. 1-0. Still not massively convincing coming off from really that Brighton loss. But then we did come back against Alaska in the last half score with a 4-0 win. So maybe we'll continue on with this winning spree a little bit now. A brilliant, fantastic Thunderbolt goal from the former Wolves man Pedro Mnell. Seals the deal in the first half. But other than that. Nothing really opens up for Man United. Maybe some tactics need to be more tweaked around for players to make more different runs to suit people players. I think that's something we need to look into. Wanted to Man United. A win's a win. We'll take it. Three points secured. Let's get into the next game. So let's show them before we get into the next game, which is the Cabrera Cup against Aston Villa on the highlight game. I'm just going to show you some of the tactics I've kind of done here. So I've got Hodges a bit of a target man, but at the same time, I wanted to get him behind, so we're going to do that right there. We've got Florian Russell stay on the edge of the box because he's got a decent shot in him. Stay forward as well. Pedro Neto stay forward, getting behind with Elise as well because they've just got bags of pace. Martinez right here, we're actually going to pit him as pretty much just cover centre. And because he's quite an aggressive player, I think we are just going to do aggressive uh, interceptions because I think he can win the ball. Manu here because he's just got bags and bags of potential about this guy. He's got a brilliant shot, got dribbling, the whole, he's got the whole package. Cover centre, deep line playmate, just behind Florian Vert. Dalot got joined the attack on default, but with Jeremy Fringpong, I've only got him on overlap and joined the attack as well because we've seen throughout that game overlapping with Jeremy Fringpong and Elise is working wonders, so that's nice to see. And also confirmed as well, Martinez is captain. I just checked as well, it's four weeks until he converts into an actual DM, so not long at all. But now we have got our cup game right here, so let's have a look and see if we can change some people around. I think for this game, I think we're going to take out Vert and also probably Martinez. And I think we're going to do this, ladies and gentlemen. I think we're going to do Nevers and Mount in there. I think we're going to give Diallo a bit of a shout and run for his money as well. And I think we're going to give Shaw as well right there. And we're just going to make Shaw kind of a like triple kind of backup captain right there. And I think that's probably going to be the team now, ladies and gentlemen. I think I'm quite happy with that. We also need a decent backup striker as well. I think that's going to be the team for the highlight game. Hopefully, we can get the win. It's only the Cabrera Cup, so if we lose, we lose. But also, we want to try and go for as much still as well as possible. But let's see if we can get a win against Aston Villa. A decent side, Unai Emery. Being a fawn of my ass in, my, in this channel. Always steps up against me. It's going to be a big game. Let's see what happens. So, so here we are then at Old Trafford with the summer of the Cabrera Cup on highlights. Let's see how we get there. Aston Villa with a solo goal here. It's a one-on-one -on -one situation. It looks like it's Luke Shaw. Against this individual here in Golovan, the Russian. We do here. Just hold the player up. Ollie Watkins. That'd be a decent sign if we can get him. He's been fantastic. Golovan. Good shot there. Good block though from Tadibu. And again. 
Cash. We do from this angle. So good point to the back post there, but Jerry Frankpon has got it and collected. And now it's actually allowed us to do something there. Hodgson, good turn there from him. Hit the pass off. You can just see there, we did play it, but just couldn't get it off. Penny could for Aston Villa. I couldn't even say Penny then. Penny for Aston Villa. Only Watkins here. This isn't the best. We do here. Who we do? Across can step up, and it doesn't. It's pretty much down the centre for Ollie Watkins. Like I say, we're playing a little bit of a weaker team, and Aston Villa are kicking our ass at the moment. We had had nothing yet, except from that kind of little glitch. And Ollie Watkins is kind of through on goal here. Looking for step up, brief. What he done there though? Well done. That's a bit of counter attack. Are we going to get anything there this game? I mean, at least give us a chance. I mean, our team's not looking that bad. It's a good team. Probably really. Well one to Watkins. Back and forward with them to a bit of a linkage this season. See, Luke Shaw has been caught by Zanelia though. Just got to watch it. Watch the pull back short. Matty Cash. Shaw, that's got to be yours. Running from the captain. Up we go. We cleared our lines. All right, long cross from Man United. This is a lot better. This seems like a bit of a chance here. It's a bit of a weird highlight of this because it pretty much sets it for you already. Good ball there to Hosland. Hosland should be scoring this here. Good save from Olsen there. Didn't really connect it properly on that right foot. Decided here with his left. Man United solo go now. And it looks like it lands to Diallo. See what he can do on the ball. It's a ball with the top there. If we can get it over in time to Pedro Nair, who's been the outstanding player this episode. Diallo. Looking for something now. Does really well, Diallo. Can he get the shot now? It's a good shot, but it's gone in. It's ricocheted off Mings. And we get the equaliser with Diallo there. And that Diallo, well done indeed. He took it on his own, and we just went for the shot. And it bobbles underneath Mings. I don't know if we'll get a replay because of the highlight. We won't, but Man United with another attack here in the 60 sixth minute. Well done from Diallo. Does fantastic. Pedro Nair is on that side, but Hoslin is there once again. Hoslin can kill the game on the finesse this time. Olsen does well. Hoslin's had a bit of a poor game. Needs to be converting that one was for sure. Long cross by Aston Villa. What can we do from this one? There we go, please. One from Martin. What a header that is. What a header. They actually are going to get the opportunity to play on. I was hoping to bring him down there. The highlight actually goes on here, which is a bit silly. Lushaw does get it. All right, we've got a bit of a technical glitch again to actually for us to allow to have a, an attack. Good switch to take advantage of it because it definitely isn't Freeman House now. Fringpong cuts his side. Went from Jeremy Fringpong there. We can do one more. We do with Mason Mount here. Mason Mount. What could he do here? Mason Mount on the finesse shot. That's unlucky. That was peak Mason Mount there. No, it does it all, but it is offside. And it will end, ladies and gentlemen. I'm hoping one all and it is because we do go to penalties our first penalty shootout of the series what can we do here man united did work in world probably should have won at the end there but hosling just couldn't put it in the back of the net boy i'm probably pronouncing it wrong i do apologize i am trying my best here but it looks like it is going to be pennies and here we go hoyland there hosland hoyland where he plays eh? here we go come on go for top right ladies and gentlemen and we get it in. Well done. Good start. From our most dangerous player on the pitch. Kramich, good player. Very good player. Can we save though? Top left. Good shot from the number nine. Mason Mount. Experienced on the pen spot before. And he gets it in. Well done from Mason Mount there. Yuri Tinemans, a quality individual. Can he save it? And we can with Costa. Diallo, he deserves this. He's had a cranking game. The top left hand corner with three one up. We're getting there. Ollie Watkins, Costa, can he save? We go the right way, but kind of dies wrong. Pedro Neto had a fantastic episode today. I'm doing it, ladies and gentlemen. Can we do it? And we have Andre Perlo vibes there. And it comes down to this. Leon Bailey versus Costa. Can he save a day? And he can. He goes the right way again, but he just can't get down off. And it comes down to Zhao Neves. Can he get it in? Hasn't had the best debut so far. And it's still not the best for the poor lad. Alex Moreno versus Costa. They're bringing it back here, Villa. The have with pretty much that boy back. It's going down to the wire. Martinez, we thought we had it wrapped up there. Down the middle from the butcher. Well done indeed. So nearly the Italian versus the Portuguese. And we've seen it and we've done it. 
We've knocked out Aston Villa, the Cabrera Cup, a massive team to be getting out of the cup already. So, so you know, let's, let's not take the piss here. We got it down to the wire, but we took it to pens. And we have got the win. Well done to the team. Well done to the keeper. Diego Costa stepping up. It's a reason why we brought him in on a swap deal with Onana. For crucial moments like that. Well done. We're going for the first round. Hopefully not every round will be bloody this hard. But that's a hard team to get past. And it wasn't our strongest team as well. We brought it back with Diallo as well. Come on. Good result. So ladies and gentlemen, this is the lineups for Crystal Palace in our last game. And you're probably saying to yourself, what the hell have you done right here? And we might even change it even more yet. I was just going to say, our stamina is looking very bleak. Tadipo, tired. Garnacho, obviously injured. Braithwaite there, massively tired. Hoyland there, I mean, pretty much half stamina. And even Neto now, I mean, not the best. Do we take the risk here? I'm um, actually, tell you what, this is going to be sounding very, very stupid. But Jeremy Fringpong... He's going to go left wing for this game. And I think Malassi is going to go there. Dallas going to go there. And I think that is probably going to be it, ladies and gentlemen. I know this sounds really stupid. But Jeremy Fringpong could do it all. I mean, his finish is not the best there. But in real life, he's been fantastic. He's got the speed. Nevis hasn't been the best. And I, I think we could do it. I genuinely think Crystal Palace are only on four points. Versus with the minus eight. But it hasn't affected his stats. And I know he could definitely do a probably job up top if you give him the opportunity. Bit of a risk this. But you got to do it sometimes. Let's get into it. Right, so our last game, we're breaking some very, very big risk here. We are truly are Gareth, uh, uh, Gareth Southgate here. I mean, taking some risk. I mean, I do believe in the Euros against Slovakia, we've seen Luke Shaw play... Uh, not Luke Shaw, sorry. What am I saying? He's injured. We saw uh, Bakayo Saka playing left wing back at one stage, which is a bit strange. But you never know. I think it will work. I mean, the pace is a massive factor in this game. And Florian Wurtz is through already here. Is he going to prove to be something to me here? Floyd Verts working all the way here. Floyd Verts off the... I'm so unlucky. Free Pong. Oh. The former Leverkusen boys stepping up, but unlucky right there. And then Free Pong. High foot indeed. Tries to go for the seconds. Very, very unlucky indeed, I've got to say. So unfortunate. Can we get up for it there as a brilliant player? Wouldn't mind bringing him in as well. But we have brought in... His uh, former teammate in Elise instead. As eight plays it back to Munez. Also, we've got Hoyland on the bench anyway, so if anything goes wrong, we can always drop Verts back to Cam, Nevis off, or something like that. Oh, well, it's a good turn then. Oh, well done. As you can see as well, Luke Shaw doing a position that people wanted to convert him in, and obviously Martinez going back to his old position in centre, but they didn't clear his lines there. Just doing a job, really, because so much tired legs. Adley there, good shot. Costs a decent save, got to say. Like I say, we're playing a lot of players out of position here today. Hopefully, it won't screw us over too much, and we can just kind of get the win against Crystal Palace and maybe focus on our team strategy to be having more rest days for our starting players in the natural position. As they well in there. Luke Shaw, out we go, please. In and out, get it out, as I like to say. At least say to Neves, a ball through to Florian Verts, a great ball from Neves, that's a lot better there from the Portuguese, into the German, Florian Verts, and I told you he can get goals, and he has done here today, our new number eight as well in Neves, showing us why we finally brought him in, doing the bits that we'd want him to do, we've got to untuck his shirt though, because that's very strange, I don't like that, but well done, great ball, great vision from awareness from the young lads, and Florian Wurtz uh, with a fantastic finish in the top-round corner. We wasn't taking any risks there, so we just went for the top-round corner. Guaranteed finish for Wurtz. Come on. So 1-0 against Crystal Palace is what we like to see. But can we continue on with this tremendous form now? And like I said, just kind of keep going a little bit. Keep getting goals. And go from there. Nunes, West Ham and Sheffield are 1-0 with Aaron getting the goal. Oh, don't dive in. Don't dive in. As he hit. Went from Maney. Well done. He has got absolute thunderbolt. Had a brilliant game for England, I think. To be fair. When we was playing poor before we actually won the game. Well, I think we played poor all game, to be honest. He was probably one of the only ones that, you know, was like, all right, let's actually step up and try and do something a little bit. Had some running the ball. I thought he did it right. And he needs to start more. Good pass there. Mitchell, a good ball. It's a good goal from Palace. I've got to say it. That's a great goal 
from Palace. Great ball from Mitchell. A player, in my opinion, who should potentially be going for the Euros. Because we haven't got any left-backs because obviously Luke Shaw's injury. Should have just brought Mitchell. I mean, he's just proved us there in the game. That he gives Twain a beautiful ball to Munez. Good pass there. First time cross pretty much. Lovely, lovely height. Great running from the attacker. And credit where it's due. Even if we had our starting actual proper centre-backs in, I don't think we defend that. Just a really good goal. Fair play to Palace. So maybe this isn't going to be as easy as we thought, which is fine. Like I said, we're kind of playing people out of position a little bit. Luke Shaw, bit of a step up here in the centre-back row. Also, he's done it underneath Ten Hag before, so you like to think he could do it. At least say not the best there. I didn't expect that touch to be so exquisite, let's just say that. Bakayo Saka there, 1-0 away to Bournemouth. Fair play to him. Mitchell on the ball here. Lerma. Ozu. Ozu. I don't know. Do that one. Moon is there. What can he do from here? Just kind of watching him at the moment because I don't want to dive in rationally. And it is going to be half time at one or the mischief team of Man United kind of surviving a tad from Chris Hill's attack. But they did bring one back with Mitchell and Munez there linking up. Eze, their most dangerous player. Got to watch him in the second half. He'll be looking to score against us. One all. Need to be a little bit better. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that one that changed. And you'll see him on the ball now. The guy that pretty much, uh, how he's still in the Miami team, I don't know, in Arabat, is on for water. Just need someone a bit more of a, a, a dirtier player. Let's say a bit more experience in that DM role. Because they're getting through quite a little bit. And I see there. Couldn't get it through there. One last turn we couldn't do. One from the butcher. Well done. Been one of the players of the season, I feel like. At least eight. Trying to twist and turn. And we do. Made a good pass out wide there. Into Jeremy Fringpong. Fringpong. We pull back there. Try to pass it into the middle to Neves, but couldn't do it, unfortunately. Adley. Frank up. Get a bit close down there. Mitchell. Running through. Doing decent, Mitchell. It's a really well, actually. Maybe we have to look at him. I mean, we did it with Pedro now, and look what happened. He's been fantastic since he's got in. Maybe Mitchell could be a, a shout there. Elise. Florian Verts. He is on side, Elise. Good play there from Florian Verts. Elise trying to cut inside on the finesse now, and Ferguson with a good block there. Well done, indeed. Diallo on for Fringpong. I think we do that. Got fresh legs on the opposite wing, but he did fantastic against Aston Villa to get the goal back to lead us on to win the uh, Carrell Cup. But can we go for it there? We can't. Back out wide from Neves. Brian Verts inside there. Arabat. Good pass there to Manassi there. Into Neves. Can we get it over? We can't. Unlucky, it's still alive though. Sure does well. Into Mainu. Can't get the pass there to Lise though, unlucky. Friend Rich. We've got off there. That could be a yellow card. We've still got to let it play on. Mitchell again here. Martinez as well. Neves. Well done there. Yeah, he's had a good game, I think. Oh, he's done really well there, Malassia. He's played through Florian Verts here. He's done fantastic, the fullback. Florian Verts! And it just goes wide. I'm clapping on to keep the team to keep going here. I feel like that's fantastic there. Main on for Mainu. All right. I mean, another attacking one there. System managers obviously seeing something. Ball goes high. But can we win it down? That's the question. We can. With Elise now. Elise does well. Cuts in. Can we get the pass off in time? We can. To Diallo. He gets it in. But I think it's offside. It is. I can just tell by the angle. It is offside. Unlucky. We should have just held our line a little bit better. But it's unlucky. Elise as well. Hoyland on for Elise on the right wing. I think there's no point doing that. Considering it's on the right wing. I don't know about that. Let me get the ball for that. I thought we could have got it there. Who's up? This could play it for a draw here. Couldn't get it off there. Adley. Should be getting that ball there. Running from Dalot. Up we go. Could be getting one last bit of attack here. Elise into Verts. Does fantastic. Florian Verts. Florian Verts could do something here. 
Florian Verts. I can see Diallo running in. Oh, we just couldn't get it across in time. You've seen Diallo run short, but we just couldn't get it to him. It's a great block. Elise's through, potentially. Elise, I can see you. Can we get it over? We can to Diallo, but he's offside again. Oh, it was through twice to Diallo. The short pass and the cross, he would have touched that down, but I think it's going to be a draw against Crystal Palace. I think we should have just maybe took it with Florian Verts. Is it still going to be one last chance, perhaps? And it won't. The ref will not allow it. It's a draw to end this episode, ladies and gentlemen. We probably should have took it closer with Florian Verts. But I just wasn't confident enough to shoot that in the top left-hand corner with him. I was looking for Diallo. My eyes were on him. He was running short, but just a little clip from the defender was enough just to put the ball beside it and not lead to a goal. Hard game. Got to give it a crystal pass to get in the goal back. We just need to push. I think we need to focus on the substitutions. When we get to January, with the rest of the money we got, we need to invest in some good substitutional players. Because that kind of cost us. We took the risk and it backfired because we didn't get three points. Got a point, but it wasn't good enough against Crystal Palace. And so, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to wrap up this episode here today. We have got five inboxes here. We've got the Youth Scout Report. Let's see if anyone potentially gone up here. We've got Piero change position. 95. Wow. Is this, is this the new, uh, you know, it could be the next Ronaldo, you know, with Marco Piero right here. Let's have a look at the development value right now. Not got too bad. We're just keeping him in because he also used 15. We can't really bring him in at the moment. Yeah, I've got this Jesse Rhodes here, which I think we'll just leave him in until we get to January. Then we can potentially loan him out. It could be one for the future here. Then we've got some player chats. Hey, boss. Uh, necessary. I'm playing a strike. It's part of your plan. He's, he's willing to do that. And uh, probably could try to against Crystal Palace. I think mean, what's, what's the other one about? I don't know what... I'd say don't blame yourself. You know, he did play. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Very strange in D. Maybe just wanted to start. But it is what it is. I mean, we're back now in the Europa League against Toulouse in the next episode. This episode wasn't too bad. I think it was a bit of a shame against Crystal Palace at the end. We got the win against Burnley. The biggest highlight, obviously, was against Aston Villa in the Cabrera Cup 5 4 with Diallo bringing it back and then us leaving it kind of close near to penalties on the 5 4. Got to sudden death, but we picked the result. But like I said, a bit of a shame against Crystal Palace. But like I said, and then the comments are saying as well, we need to work on our backups, really. We've got some good backups, but I think especially a striker, maybe another winner, because Diallo, even though he had a fantastic episode here today, wasn't really the impact player we kind of need, like Neto or Lise. But we are missing Garnacho. That's the big, big problem. I think if we had Garnacho win that game, I feel like we could have potentially won it, but it is what it is. We just got to go and continue on, ladies and gentlemen, in the next episode. But if you did like this video here today, ladies and gentlemen, today, please like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.